Let's review. Why use a real-time auction? Well, prices are going to uh, vary widely, actually, between auctions for different keywords. There's a reserve price of just five cents, and it is often the case that there's only one bidder on a keyword, and so that's what you get. But some phrases get $30 a click, some phrases get $100 a, uh, a click, you know, uh, especially for things that are like leading to leads for law firms and things like that. There are obviously millions of search phrases. The top two million are only about 80% of searches. There's a very long tail to this. And there are hundreds of thousands of advertisers and small advertisers join the system all the time. And there are also some time sensitive items that you want to come in, you want to uh, have a keyword uh, uh, auction for a limited period of time to pr for a promotion, and that complicates things. And there's changing products and profits. So that's why you have it real time. So these sorts of things can be uh, taken into account and changed. And Google goes, why not? We'll do it every uh, single uh, search that occurs. There are costs. Firms need to monitor and they need to fine tune. Uh, it limits the ability of people like Google to price discriminate and to offer different prices for different things, um, which can become an issue. Okay. Uh, why pay per click? As I said before, pay per impression, pay per impression is, can be good for some sorts of advertising. But in this situation, advertiser bears the risk for traffic quality. So when I put on an ad and I'm paying for every time that ad is shown to someone, uh, that means that sometimes it's going to be shown to people who aren't interested in it. A click is a sign of intent, a sign of interest, so it is more valuable. Um, search engines have private information about bot traffic and other things like that. Um, and so they can optimize a little bit better. Uh, you know, are, the right, is, are you getting real people looking at your ads? Uh, there's traffic quality uh, on, you know, something coming off a partner network and other things like that could be very uncertain. Again, it might be someone who's an impression might not be a very valuable consumer. And in the long term, advertisers monitor performance and adjust bids, but short-term risk are fluctuations. You could have price per action. You could use cookies to track conversions. And this allows firms to enter the profit on each item to the advertising platform and let the advertising platform optimize for you. That's a great idea. It just hasn't been done yet. I think mainly because people don't quite know their profits. <laughs> Uh, so pay per clicks is like an in-between thing. It's like the Goldilocks of this. Um, uh, minimizes risk for advertisers relative to the pay per impression, and it's simpler for search engine and very easy technology. <coughs> now, you'll notice that how Varian talked about click-weighted auctions. All search engines use click-weighted auctions to some degree. Unweighted click auctions lead to lower revenue. For example, imagine you had a search for Paris. Okay, You might be looking for Paris and France travel. Uh, the profit is 50 cents a click, the click-through rate is 5%, uh, which means that you'll be thinking about multiplying those two numbers together to get your actual value. But you might be searching for something like Paris Hilton. Uh, profit is maybe higher, uh, but the click-through rate may be lower because of the it, it wasn't people actually, people were searching for their travel, not for something else. So Paris Hilton videos would outbid Paris tra uh, Fra uh, France travel. Paris Hilton ad, though, generates half the revenue for the search engine. And so you want to wait those things. You want to wait. Just because somebody's put in a high bid for an ad doesn't mean you should give them priority because you have to think about what the likelihood of somebody clicking on it is. The advantage of unweighted auctions is that they do not require a search engine to estimate the click-through rates. And, and Google spent a lot of time doing this and everybody trying to game click-through rates Spends time doing this, and so it is a bit of a mess that way. Advertisers don't want unnecessary clicks. Uh, they want some right. They have to write accurate ad text and other things to to uh, to do that. Um, so you might get better advertising uh, behavior depending on which format you use. Thus far, click weights seem to be the better way to go. You could have pay your bid versus generalized second price auction. You've already done an exercise on this. Pay your bid. Uh, is the early auction I had actually used this. The outcome was lots of cycling. Firms incrementally outbid one another. Prices got so high that it was unprofitable to win, and then they dropped their bid automatically. They had all these algorithmic search. That leads to inefficient outcomes. Here's an example. 
um, two uh, firms were monitoring each other's prices uh, just for Amazon sales, and if the other person increased their price, they would do so too. And this created a feedback loop such that the price of the making of a fly, the genetics of animal design paperback, was uh, new from $1.7 million. Suffice it to say, that's a little bit surprising. That would have to be one hell of a book. Um, and uh, if that was the case, well above the list price, you'll notice. And also, you may consider getting it second hand. But this was a this was a problem of first price auctions. If you had second price auctions, this wouldn't have happened. Um, but obviously, when we're selling stuff, that's kind of what we do. Generalized second price auctions advertise pay the minimum required to maintain their position. It has these nice stability problems, and the search engines are continuing to update their rules. So it's kind of hard to game, but they're trying continuing to optimize it. Just an example, again, of uh, pay your bid. Imagine you've got two positions. The top one gets 200 clicks daily. The second top one gets 100 clicks daily. Advertisers 1, 2, 3 have per click values of 10, 4, and $2 a piece. In the Overture auction where you pay your bid, Advertiser 3 would offer up to $2 per click. Advertiser 2 just has to bid just above that to get the second slot. And so Advertiser 1 only has to bid just slightly above that to get the second top slot. Um, so Advertiser 2 looks at that and says, oh, what the hell? I can get double my clicks uh, if I just go to uh, the top spot. And so they go up there, but then they bid all the way up to that, and then they bid all the way down, and you get these cycles, and the payer auction bid was just unstable. What you want is an efficient allocation where advertiser one gets the top slot, value created is 200 times 10, the amount of clicks times the value per click, $2,000, advertiser two gets the second value slot, they're creating value of $400, and total value creation is $2,400. If you look at it, a second price auction will get that, uh, maybe you want to work that out yourself. Okay, so in summary, search engines have a two-sided platform. They match consumers with advertisers. They allow high targeted self-selection as consumers' uh, keywords reveal things about them. The market has evolved various designs to efficiently match consumers with advertisers. As auctions have become more efficient, ad revenue has risen. This demonstrates the importance of market design yet again. Um, but what about more traditional consumer-to-advertising markets? Come to that next.